today we're going to explain why friction causes heat at the molecular level. If you take your hands, you rub them together, you can feel it. It gets warmer, it gets hot. Whenever you have friction like this, it causes things to heat up. Why is that? Well, if you have a wheel, you just take your hand and you start spinning it. Each time you hit it, the wheel will spin faster and faster and faster. And we're going to see if you can understand that, you're going to be able to understand why friction causes heat on the key ring atom. So if you have friction, right here, cold hydrogen, just a regular old hydrogen here that's hot. But if you have friction, something comes by and bumps into another atom. That's what it is. Works with any atom. So if an atom comes by, hits this here, what's it going to do? It's going to spin faster. So each time you get an atom come by that hits this, it's going to spin faster and faster and faster until it gets bigger and it gets hotter. So the more times you hit this with another atom that comes by, the faster it's going to spin. Just like that. Each time it hits, they'll spin faster. Very easy. Physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry. 